Oh my god, he's right there. Good morning, everyone. It is about 5.45 in the morning right now. I just got to the Tampa airport. I'm having the worst hair day in history. I'm headed to Kansas City, Missouri this morning. I'm going to surprise John. He's there on a 27-hour layover. I actually had a four-day trip that was starting tomorrow. I dropped that because I did not want to do another four-day. I've done a six-day and two four-days already this month. I needed a little break. I needed a few days off just to hang out and do my own thing for a couple days. And I haven't seen John in a long time. And and had I done my four day tomorrow, I wouldn't have seen him for like literally three weeks. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take the first flight out to Kansas City today and see what happens. So here we are, we are at the airport. We need a face covering. Ow. This mask hurts my ears, but the only other one I have is my work one and I don't want to wear that one. So I guess for whatever reason, the train is down in Tampa, so we're gonna have to actually just walk to the airport. I've never done the walk, so I don't really know how far it is, but I'm hoping it's nothing crazy. to Kansas City. Boarding starts in about 30 minutes. I think it's gonna be like maybe 2 15, two and a half hours over there. Hopefully he doesn't wake up before we get there. Just started boarding. I tried to go run and get a coffee real quick, but Starbucks was closed. <laughs> City. It's really chilly here. I thought Kansas City was supposed to be, I don't know, like warm. I don't know. I thought it would be like nicer weather, but it's pretty gloomy and rainy and actually it's pretty cold. Like I'm, I wish I had like a sweatshirt or something. John is still sleeping, which is pretty good. My intention is to just go knock on the hotel door and see what happens. Hopefully he answers. I don't know if I would answer the door though. He'll at least look out the people. I just ordered a car. It's gonna take 15 minutes for it to get here. First world problems, I know. I have anxiety, guys. Like, I just wanna get it over with. Oh my god, he's right there. He's right there. Your face. What are you doing here? I came to see you because I missed you. You scared me. I'm like, what waving at me? Do we swear on oh. YouTube, sir? <laughs> We are in downtown Kansas City right now. We are walking to go get something to eat. I think John said we're going to Yard House. Is that where we're going? We wanted to get Kansas City barbecue, but there's two things. One, we don't really have a lot of time to walk down there. Two, John had barbecue last night, so I'm not gonna force him to eat it again. I've had Kansas City barbecue plenty of times. It is such a beautiful day in Kansas City. Now, remember earlier I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cold, I wish I had a jacket. It's hot, it's a beautiful day. We are walking downtown. Yes, we have masks with us. We're not wearing them right now just because we're walking on the street and no one's really around us. Obviously, if we see someone, we'll put them back on. All right, Mr. Lee Haas, what's yeah. going on? Were you surprised? Yes. Were you happy to see me? Of course. You I disturbed don't... my rest. I disturbed your rest? <laughs> How? Because I have a red eye tonight. I should be sleeping. I'm going with you on the red eye, sis. At least you have a seat. This man's gonna say, at least you have a seat. Sir, I'm literally sitting on the jump seat with you because the flight from Vegas is oversold. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a real seat, or even an exit row or a seat in the front of the plane. We'll see. But if worse comes to worse, I'm taking the jump seat tonight. Okay, 
Okay, so I was gonna cheers him, but... It's bad luck to cheers without alcohol. Is it really? Yeah. Really? Is that a real thing, you guys? John, what did you get? Barbecue bacon. I got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, but I'm sending it back because I honestly hate it and I'm so embarrassed. We just got back from the market. We bought a lot of different foods for tonight and tomorrow, and we thought we would give you guys a little mini haul. All right, so I'll start with the bigger bag first. John got these two little Starbucks coffees for the red eye tonight. He also got, I think, two of these. He loves these. They're like the Coke energy drinks. I'm sure these are terrible for you. This literally just looks like not a good idea. But I guess that's okay because he balanced it out with his essential water. And then he also got a lemon yogurt. This is mine. And then I got some turkey to make turkey sandwiches. I got a mini salad, a banana, and then because we're all about balance here, some puppy chow, yum. We are gonna go ahead and take a quick showers and then we're gonna head downstairs. It's about 5.15 right now. The shuttle is picking us up at six. I decided to continue along with the rest of John's trip. He comes home tomorrow. Tonight we are going from Kansas City to Vegas, a Vegas red eye to Detroit. We'll be in Detroit all day tomorrow and then we'll do one leg home. And I figured like, oh my gosh, I should definitely go and just vlog the rest of this because I did vlog my last flight attendant trip but it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So this will be a nice supplemental vlog for the time being. These are all planes that are just grounded here in Kansas City. It's literally crazy. There's more like down there over that way. You can't see it from here, but that's just so sad. I hope these planes get back to work soon. There's also some Air Canada planes down there too. And then a bunch of like international planes like back behind these Delta planes. So we just checked in. John and his crew just went down on the plane to do their safety checks. I hope you guys can hear me okay through the mask. I checked in for the flight, got my boarding pass, I'm in seat 5F, so I'll be in John's section, which is nice. I honestly forget how long the flight is to Vegas from here, probably like two hours. Hopefully, not that long. I'm tired. I cannot believe that I'm going on the red eye tonight. What is wrong with me, you guys? Kansas City, if you guys have never been here, the airport is so strange to me. It's literally divided in sides. Like, one side is like, totally like, before security, and then you cross the wall, and then you're past security. It's really weird. Like, if you guys know, if you've been here, you know what I'm talking about. If you've never been here, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. It's just a weird setup, and it goes around in like a big circle. We had so much fun today. Kansas City is such a fun layover, especially downtown Kansas City. I'm so tired, though. I hope I just sleep the entire way to Vegas, because I want to try to stay up on the red eye, so that when we land, I can go to sleep with John. Oh, hey, Kylie. Hey, girlfriend. We just got to Vegas. It is, I don't even know what time it is here. 8.30 here, so it's 11.30 on the East Coast, which means we'll be in Detroit in the next five hours, which is great. We have to be at the gate in about 20 minutes. I think I checked it online, I honestly don't know, so I'm gonna have to check with the gate agent. But most likely, I'm gonna have to end up taking the jump seat. I'm number three on standby, and there's two open seats, so most likely I could get a seat. But there's like seven other standbys, and it would kind of screw them over. Like, they wouldn't get on if I took the seat, so I'm just gonna take the jump seat and be nice. We try to get Starbucks, but they're closed. I think every single Starbucks in the Vegas airport is closed, which is like absolutely insane. I mean, I understand like we're going through a pandemic and everything, and it's better to just be closed because like less exposure, less people, you know. But I'm just like really surprised. I'm like, you would think Starbucks would be open. We did, I don't remember if I vlogged this in Kansas City earlier, we did try to go to Starbucks, and they were only open until 1 p.m., which I thought was weird. I mean, I guess people like to get more coffee in the morning than at night. It is what it is. No shade, no tea. Let's go to Detroit. 
just landed in Detroit. It was about three and a half hours to get here. It's 4.24 in the morning. I'm completely exhausted. Right now, I'm just waiting for John and the rest of his crew to get off the plane. They're still deplaning. I think there's a couple more people, a couple wheelchairs down there. And then we're gonna be on our way to the hotel. I cannot wait to go to bed. In half an hour, it'll hit the 24 hour mark, which is absolutely insane. I couldn't sleep on the flight because you guys remember I told you I had to take the jump seat. And when you take the jump seat, you can't like listen to music, you can't sleep, you can't do anything. You basically have to be like working, but not really working. So you just have to be on like your A game at all times. You cannot do anything like no headphones, no sleeping, no anything. It was a good flight though, so no complaints. I love being back in Detroit. Do you guys remember when I was based here? What a throwback. You're an OG subscriber if you remember that. All right, vlog, I've officially been up for 24 hours. Do you know what that means? John, what time is it? Bedtime. Good morning, everyone. We just got up a little bit ago. It is around 5 p.m. right now. We pretty much slept the entire day away. Both of us were really exhausted after the red eye. Went downstairs and met one of John's crew members for lunch. Like you guys saw, we went to the grocery store yesterday and got a bunch of food, so we ate that up before we go home. We just got out of the shower now. John is finishing up packing all of his stuff. I just listed myself for the flight. There's like 200 open seats on this flight, so I'm definitely gonna get on. The only issue is we're flying to Orlando and my car's in Tampa. Kinda had to recruit John to drive me to the airport. I wanted to show you all this crew tag. I got it from a lady off of Etsy. It is so cute. It says you can't sit with us with the Airbus jump seat. She was kind enough to give me a discount code. If you guys are interested in purchasing any bag tags from her, you can use the code HUNTERSFLY25 to save 25%. It's sad to see it like this because when I was based here, it was packed every single day. So I just checked in with the gate agent and she ended up giving me my seat already. Boarding isn't for about another 15 or so minutes. I actually ended up getting a really good seat. I have the whole row to myself and it's also the exit row. And we're on the Airbus 321. So if you don't know, the exit row on a 321 is like literally like six feet of space in front of you, which is crazy. It's definitely gonna be a comfy flight. I'm in the back one. There's two exit rows on a 321. There's one in the front and one in the back. I got the one in the back, which is totally fine. The flight is empty. I think there's like 200 open seats. Either way, I would have been fine with wherever she put me as long as I get on the plane, you know? If I wouldn't have come on this trip, I wouldn't have seen him for like literally three weeks. And I just wanted to see him for a couple days, you know? But then I ended up actually swapping my four day that was supposed to start today. I dropped it, which means they just like wiped it off my schedule. And then I was debating on, oh, do I want to pick up something? So I ended up picking up another three day on Sunday. The three day was worth the same credit as my four day. So I'm like, this definitely worked out in my favor. We just got back to Orlando. John and I are going to drive back home to Tampa now. We have to stop at the Tampa airport and pick up my car along the way. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. I respond to all of your comments, good or bad, and I'll see you guys next time.